Let's talk about flock lifestyle. Now flock lifestyle is a mindset. You want everything consistent so you can see the genetic differences in your animals. The mindset behind it is that all your performance animals or all your animals period needs to be living the same lifestyle. It all comes down to your management and keeping everything consistent and all the animals should have the same opportunities to nutrition, exercise, um, vitamins, whatever. Your animals need to have the same environment that they can develop in so that way you can see the differences genetically, right? So all the animals that stand out and that are different in an environment where everything is the same, you know automatically that their genetics are different. Something is different. It could be good or bad. So once your environment is all the same, what do you do from there? First, you just look over the animals. You don't touch them, you just look over them. You're just, you just observe them, watch them. And you wanna look for any differences, any obvious, any obvious faults, any obvious um, bad traits, anything that's obvious. Almost like a judge at a, a pageant, according to, of course, your vision and your standard. Um, everything else doesn't matter, right? I'm gonna tell you guys what I look for because I know you wanna know, right? I look for stance, balance, um, proportion. Is the, is the head proportionate to the body? Is the body proportionate to the height? So I never hear people talk about proportion when it comes to selecting animals, but that's something that I try to look for. I don't like my birds to have long necks or um, anything that's out of proportion, I, I really don't like. I also look for body structure, more like the silhouette of the animal, the outline of the animal, right? You know, every animal has a certain shape to it. So that's one of the things I look for. Now that's not important when it comes to performance. So another thing I look for automatically when I'm looking over the animals is health. You wanna look for health. You wanna only select the healthy, the most healthy animals. You wanna make sure they pass on a great immune system to their offspring. So health is very important when you're looking over the animals in a flock lifestyle. You wanna look for feather quality or the coat, the quality of the coat, the quality of the fur, whatever type of animal you have. As long as the environment is consistent and the same, those feathers should be consistent and the same, right? Because of the nutrition factor and the growth factor and everything like that, but that's not always the case. When you see that, you know that something's, something's up here. And most likely it's the genetics. If they're getting the same nutrition, the same vitamins, and every, everything's the same, then the genetics are, are pretty much different. That's the ideal of the flock lifestyle. So at this point, you know which animals you don't want to breed. You identified the faults and you separated the animals based off those faults, based off what you're willing to select according to your vision and your standards, right? So next, you wanna handle these animals. You wanna put them in a show pen, you wanna put them on a table, you wanna isolate them somewhere where you can observe them alone and you wanna physically touch the animal. When I handle the animals, first thing I do is I look for a healthy eye. I'm not looking for anything else. I'm not looking for pupil size, pupil shape. I'm looking for a healthy eye, healthy looking eye. Second thing I'm looking for is, I don't want the animal to be heavy, but it has to have a good weight. It can't be a light animal. It can't be light for its size. So next what I do is I check the keel on the animal or check the bone structure. That's what I'm doing when I'm checking the keel. For no other reason am I checking the keel, but for bone density, that's it. I wanna touch this animal keel, I wanna see how good is this animal bones? If the keel is bent, twisted, then it's probably, the bone density is probably no good and it'll pass that through the offspring. That's what I look for. I look for a strong, strong bones. Now, if you have something like dogs, you'll probably check the legs, the bones in the legs, the bones on the back, the spine, stuff like that. You wanna check the bone density. You just don't want, you want an animal with terrible bone structures. Next thing you wanna look for is temperament, right? You never wanna breed for temperament alone because temperament is environmental and genetic. Environment play a huge role in temperament. 
So that's it for the flock lifestyle. Like, comment, subscribe, do what you do.